It's a new day, which means we're gonna work out of a new coffee shop. And this one, we got recommended this by a friend, and this is gorgeous. I got a bulletproof coffee, which is um, coffee and fat. So, update um, after South Africa, I might just be going to Bali. Um, I just got off a call with a guy called Nicholas Grunov. Actually, big shout out to Nicholas. Uh, quick background. So I think one or two weeks ago kind of posted a vlog where I talked about um, client reports and data reports and then I was building a template out of for that and we never talked. He followed me, he was watching the vlog and he watched that vlog and he's doing Facebook ads for people and he's doing digital marketing so he actually sent me, I gotta find a bit safer from wind, so he actually sent me an email after watching that vlog and sent me um, his template he's using for his clients, for his Facebook ads that he's doing. Um, I like the template, we've never met. I found him on Instagram through his name and I just answered that email saying that we should just like hop on a call and just like chat it up a bit. I wanted to get to know what he's doing and I wanted to thank him for that. So I just got off the call right now and he's in Germany right now, he's German, um, but he actually has was in Bali the last six months so with with his remote work and all of that stuff he's doing he he was in Bali for six months and worked from there and from what he told me apparently I don't understand why not everyone is in Bali but um, you can live in Bali for like 600 euros a month and he said you're gonna live like a king with those 600 euros Bali obviously is a like beautiful place it's the raining season right now but still um, the visa is super easy you, to get you literally just fly there land and buy uh, and pay 34 bucks and then you get a two two month permit and you can just constantly repeat that you just fly to Malaysia for like a 30, 40 euro flight come back in pay another 34 bucks and get another two months um, and there are a lot of people who do like digital marketing and because it's like it's a paradise for people who do remote work for digital nomads so that actually now might be the perfect place to wait out my time until I can come back to New York and just work from there there are, he told me about like co-working spaces and apparently also the um, because there are so many um, um, digital nomads like you actually get into the working mindset he was working sometimes 10 to 14 hours a day which is good because it means you're surrounded by people who also want to be productive which means even though it's a beautiful place and you can like surf and all do all of that stuff you're also surrounded by people who actually get shit done and work which hopefully means that I will get shit done and work so that's really something that I'm really hardly considering right now right now to go there immediately after South Africa and just you know wait out my visa situation and work from there and live cheaply and you know do all of that stuff so I'm gonna keep you guys updated obviously on that decision because I literally just got off the call big shout out to Nicholas again um, that was a very good conversation um, and that's it and now we're finding a brunch place to eat and we're actually Today is the first day we're working out of like midtown. Yeah, you guys haven't seen this. Look, they're like busy streets and stuff. And a couple of like, well, not really that high of buildings. Oh, there's the J. Hey. Um, so we've been here now. And now we find a place to eat food. It's 2.30 and we haven't had anything yet. So one of the things J and me were just talking about. Um, by the way, we've just got coffee and... Uh, brunch and worked at that place there um, and it is that I kind of realized that well I came to South Africa because I could right I didn't have any specific plans but my visa got denied I can work remotely and Jay was going so what was like okay let me just join for three weeks and, and work from there and do my thing from there and I knew that I only could go if I can be productive because of all the work I want to do and have to do. So this can't be holiday and, and I was thinking like, well that's no problem, right? I can just work here and go out sometimes. But I realized that it's very hard to optimize both on you know, being
being productive and being able to experience this place um, in the way I want to because well you're in a new place so that means like my internet is very unstable like I'm at the mercy of the Wi-Fi at at our place um, I don't know exactly where I can work out of I don't have my habits that I'm used to um, and I'm figuring all of these things out and so I'm not being as productive as I want to be right I'm not getting all the things done that I want to get done because without internet I can't do my work and with slow internet it's just frustrating and so um, I wasn't getting the, all the things that I wanted to get done and I compensated that by just working more by I spent all day in the Airbnb for like three days and then didn't leave until I think we were here on our fourth day um, which meant both I was missing out on the productive work but I was also not experiencing this place um, which I came to experience and now I kind of got to peace with it um, I realized that next time if I'm gonna do something um, I'm gonna like either stay longer so I can actually like establish my habits and figure out like where am I gonna work how do I do this like Wi-Fi thing where I'm gonna like live um, and really get into productive grind mode or just stay for shorter and you know really just take in the location for like a week and don't focus on work at all I mean I do realize that I'm um, complaining on a very high level right now because it's still fucking amazing that I can just you know go here and and be here and fucking work and so take it with a grain of salt this is still fucking amazing I mean you saw the drone footage this is like the most gorgeous place I've been at maybe ever but next time I might do differently and that's why I'm really interested in the Bali thing because that can just stay for like a month and really get into the grind mode our Uber is here now too so where is he oh no almost getting killed here So we made it back home. Um, what I didn't show you guys, we had dinner with Matthew and his family. We ate roasted chicken and potatoes, which was very good. We also and pumpkin and pumpkin thingies, which were also which were also very good. And we just played a little bit of scram Scrabble. I obviously won because well that makes sense. No, you did not. What? You did not win. Yeah. Okay, I went in last. But actually. I, well, I, I kind of, you know, on my last, so we had, like, it was the last turn, there was nothing left on the board, we could, you know, like, place words, and I have this one Q, right? And Q is like the golden letter, because it's fucking 10 points. So if you're able to do something with a Q, you're like a god. And so there's a corner where two words intersect, and I put it into the corner, and the one word would have been IQ and the other one is EQ. Which are two legitimate words. I mean, we use Actually, those words no. all the time. QI is the word. No, but it would have been. IQ and EQ. Yeah, but it's QI. Yeah, but that would have been the word. No, the but word these QI. two were bitches. No, word. <laughs> and we're like, no, that doesn't count. IQ and EQ don't count. And if it would have counted... Like, that Q was not, not only two fucking words, lost. that is I, Q, I and Q, which is 11 point word, and then EQ is another 11 point word, which is 22 points, and that Q corner was placed on a triple word point, word count tile, so it would have been 63 fucking points for that one Q. And so, 66 fucking points for you one cube, but these no, yeah, I, I was doing you by yeah, okay, points. I would have, and also I spelled the word weed, so that's for 20 points in its own. Yeah, so point, I'm points. the winner of the hearts, Jay, of the who? of the hearts. <laughs> you lost, I, I even, spelled yeah, the I word. lost, I, I even, accept that. I even, spelled I'm just the saying, word I sh winner. I'm supposed to have won. I mean, I even spelled, I didn't even spell. Spalled. See? The person <laughs> the person who says bald instead of spelled wins scramble. I mean the that scramble. just showed you that that is nothing to do with skill and just pure luck. 
I, I mean, EQ I, and I, IQ are just legitimate words. Just, okay, we're gonna end this discussion. I should no. have won. That is the end of the vlog. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you like the video, <laughs> make sure to like it. Um, you can comment, you can, what else can they do? Subscribe, click the bell button, all of it. Bye. I don't even want to come. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting